Okay, so I want to make a seating chart and I'm going to use Excel to do that. So in this first sheet, I've got just a group of students that are, have been copy and pasted. They can be any group. They don't have to be in alphabetical order. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click down here and I'm just going to change this to the student tab or student list, whatever you want to call it. And then we need a second sheet. So you just hit the plus sign down here. I've already done that because I've started it on the other sheet. And I'm going to call this one, I'll right click on it, and I'll rename this one to seating. Okay, now you notice there's some zeros that are up here. And all that I've done, starting with F9 cell, is I've just put in equals. So this one equals I2, I3, I4, I5, I6, you get the idea. And then this row up here, I8, I9, all the way to 13. So this last row, because it just keep going in order, I've got 26, 27, 28. So I'll do equals I29, equals I30, and this one will do equals I31. And so now they're basically in numerical order. And the only thing that this is doing is it's telling us to take the value that we're going to put in this column I and then just assign it over here. Now, I'm going to make just a simple grid for my seating chart. You can have any that you'd like, any arrangement that you like. I'm just going to highlight these. I'm going to right click on it. And for the row height, I'm just going to do 0.7. And then for the columns, I'm going to right click, format the column width, and I'm going to put 1.3. Now, what I'll do, don't do that, is I'm going to highlight this whole section and I'm just going to put borders around it. And here's sort of the grid for my seating chart. So, um, what you may want to do at this point is just go File and then Save As. And then you want to click maybe Seating Chart Template or something. So, you have this to go to every time. So, I'll just Save it as a template, yes, replace it. And so now anytime I open this up, I'm gonna already start. Now you can put any shapes that you want. You can have any arrangement for cells that you want for your classroom, it doesn't matter. So what we're going to do now is we're going to assign students to these cells, which are our seats. And what I'm going to do now is I'll go back to my student list. I'm just gonna take this whole thing, I'll highlight it, copy it, and we'll go back to my seating chart tab. And right under H, I'm going to paste them right here. Double click with this arrow to widen it, and there we go. And now what I'll do is I'll just put in a little title over here. I'll just type seating chart. Now for me, block one makes sense. Let's see this 2016 to 2017. You can have it make it however you like. Let's do semester one, term one. And we'll just make that nice and bold. You can center it, you can do whatever you like. Let's make it a little bigger, 14. There we go. So at, at this point, this is going to be for seating chart block one. So what we wanna do is let's go back up to file. We're gonna do save as. Now we're gonna add in macros to this. You can't just save it as, as this setting right here for the Excel workbook. Um, let's do this one. Let's do Excel macro enable workbook. Okay, and then you can save it to wherever you like, just hit save. So we're gonna keep adding some buttons to this. The first button that we're gonna add is for alphabetical order. So under I, we're gonna type in sorted. I'm gonna bold that just so that it shows up nicely. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these students right here, I'm gonna copy them again, and I'm gonna paste Right click, paste special, and I'm just gonna do the values. Hit okay, and then we'll widen it. Now, um, I wanna put in a button that I'm gonna put down over here for alphabetical order. So every time I hit that button, it'll re-alphabetize these in case I have to add another uh, student or uh, if I randomize it later on, I can always put it back in alphabetical order. So the way that we're gonna do that is we're gonna tell Excel um, to create a macro. So to get this started, we'll go to Tools, 
and we'll go all the way down to macro and then we're going to record a new macro and we have to name it so this is for a seating chart so I'll just call it seat ABC for ABC order and then just click OK and the only thing we're going to do for this is we're just going to highlight this whole column starting with the sorted and now we're going to go up here this data tab and then under the sorting this down arrow custom sort and we want to continue with the current selection click sort and it's been almost done for us where it says order we we can click here we have some choices a to z z to a or custom list we want it alphabetical order so we'll leave it like that and then we'll click OK and what it did is it just organized these by alphabetical order and then these cells over here were repopulated because that's what we told it to do so we'll just click anywhere else and now we're going to tell it to stop with the macro so back to tools macro stop recording so let's put in a button so that every time we hit that button it will alphabetize it so we'll go with insert shape and I'm gonna pick this one close it up and when you just click anywhere the shape comes up I'm gonna drag it over here now I'm gonna right click on this edit text I'm just going to type in ABC and I'm going to highlight it so that I can make it a little bigger size maybe 14 put it in the middle center click anywhere and now that's done so what we want to do is we want to right click on this and we want to assign it the macro that says seat ABC so we'll click on that click OK click anywhere else and now we're done and it doesn't look like it does much right now but what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in a random button in the next video and we'll see how when we use this button and the random it will go back and forth between them so you may be wondering what do we do with these zeros well I just had this populated so that because I didn't know how many students that we had so if you do this and you end up with um, zeros it means that there's nothing next to it so all we do is we can just highlight the ones that have the zeros right click and then just clear the contents and then we can highlight these, right click, clear the contents. All right, so I'm going to save it as it is. File, save as. I'm going to save this one as seating chart. We'll do it block one. Save. Uh, and now, if we don't want to see these, the other thing you can do too is if we highlight this stuff here, we can right click and hide it and it looks a little bit more professional when we click that button. Alright, we'll do the random in the next video.